Hi everyone, I hope that you are doing well. I'm just jumping in here to see what's going on in the moment. So whenever it is you've caught this video, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, if you're new, my name is Shannon and I'm glad to have you. So if it's your birthday, happy birthday. If it's anniversary, happy anniversary. So if you are new, I'm not sure if you're religious. I could come across that way, but I give all praise, glory, and honor to the maker of heaven and earth. People call in the universe when they're reading. I uh, acknowledge uh, my maker as his scriptural name. The scriptures found in the tarot. I keep all ten of the commandments. I love Yeshua, the Hamashiach, the son of the living Elohim. I love Yehovah. And so if you hear me say Yehovah, that's who I'm connecting with. He, the, he is the his, he's the only one. He created all things. And uh, the host of heaven and the angels are at his command. So uh, anyway, th this is who I am. So take it or leave it. Uh, but I don't have any religious mindsets or anything like that. I'm just for the truth. I seek my father in the truth. And keeping the covenant is the truth. And nothing can stand against, you know, a truth and a lie. What's the truth about it? Well, the truth's going to set you free within things. And so I'm just real fierce at uh, energy that could be negative. I'm known to feel energy and uh, attack it in a very fierce way. Um, you'll just learn me as we go. I could come across a little goofy. It's just that it's energy flow. Okay, so anyway, let's get started here and see what's going on. Just pulling cards. We have somebody that's just trying to hang on to something. And uh, maybe just been greedy. They're all about the material world and mine, mine, mine. And no crap, it ain't. If you, if you're greedy, um, your your arms will be pried open to something. Somebody's trying to gain some. You know, we have security and organization. That card can represent security and organization as well. Uh, somebody is now hanging on to something like that and just, you know, pinching pennies because of some stupid stormy water uh, that's happened around some situation. Then, you know, this is leaving stormy waters behind. Um, this card came out earlier in a reading that I did. There's, there's a lot of birds up in the air there. And, you know, if there's a lot of chit-chatting going on about some type of a trip or, you know, there's a boat here. You could be from overseas. I had the east come out. I also had, uh, what else came out? Something, some other foreign place came out. Um, I think it was Korea came out. So, something about the water would be here somewhere overseas or somewhere foreign is here for some of you all just because it came out. Um, but if there's something chit chatty going on here, then there is. There's been stormy waters around some type of just sitting still or trying to secure something here. What's coming out? Okay, that's the publicity card. So those birds, whatever that is, that's being chit chatted about. Then there's something here with that energy. Okay, we have we have a lot of pentacles. Then somebody trying to hang on to a lot of money, and somebody's a freaking player and a half. Okay, then somebody's just freaking play. Look, if you miss the Cardinal Fix Immutable sign uh, for the next couple of days, they're down below. And we had the little uh, Page of Cups that came out, which is a seducing card. I think on the Aquarian energy, it was both with Aquarius and um, Leo energy. There, there was there was messages there, but we had the we had the bedroom and wording, and we had the room card come up as well. This is a player, okay? Somebody got a little lover and went and traveled somewhere. Now that, that they, you know, they had a bunch of money, and I stated on that reading, and somebody really need to use their intuition because, you know, these little players, they, they know you got money. They're going to hit you up for something, man. And now somebody's sitting here with four pentacles. They had ten pentacles. Then something's here, okay, on the stupid trip. I'm in. I'm out. I don't care. I just know you got something that I want. And I want to say that there was a wording today that come out on one of my readings. I think it was in the taurine section. Uh, in the next couple of days on those uh, element sign readings that it, it came out that they took it or they they did it because they wanted it or something like that so somebody is around somebody that is a user and they just take things because well I want it so I'm just gonna come in and I, I want it so I'll just be fishy with you and I want it and so I'll just take it and so that's here. If that's past energy and you've already been sitting here for a while and you're able to leave trouble waters behind, then fine. But if somebody thinks that they're leaving trouble waters behind and thinking, well, I met somebody hot and dandy and something like that, that energy, though, is coming out. I'm not going to take away from the energy that I read for. People better be careful. 
okay? Because we got some stupid fools and freaks out there trying to do some crazy because they're full of witchcraft, okay? We have the justice card coming out here. We have a lot of justice coming out for the next couple of days. We had uh, a legal judgment in wording. We had all, all we had a judge there as well, okay? So we have, you know, uh, you know if somebody works for the laws that way, then you're a freaking fool. Let you hold a stomp on your crap, man. We don't want you in our legal system doing that stuff to people. Okay? But there is going to be justice for some stuff. That's truth and clarity. This is, you know, being bent and cuffed. It, for, for playing somebody, then great. And somebody can go sit their butt in jail then for doing that stuff. Because it ain't your, it ain't your stuff to be just taking it just because I want it. Um, there's, there's, so I'm going to read this card as somebody going to go behind bars. Okay. Obviously if you are sitting here and you got played, of course you've got walls up and somebody freaking came in and did something to you and, and, and it was very expensive of what they did to you in a very physical way of your life. It was abomination because their skills were off and they weren't even then uh, apparently somebody got some walls up around some stuff then. Uh, but this is also a victory card here with the Seven of uh, Wands. We have a lot of people here involved in some stuff as well. There's messages with Eight Wands there. If I just wanted to take that. I mean, obviously, somebody said, hey, baby, uh, let's go get a room because it was there. And like I said, boom, they took something. And now you're just freaking sitting there. Uh, a judgment is here. Okay. We do know that there is something going down with, like, uh, the, we had the word somebody getting fired, and we had the word uh, within some type of an authority figure that uh, uh, did something unethical. So, again, somebody in authority did something unethical, and they played somebody, then so be it. It's here. We have the letter Resh and the letter Kuf here. So, the um, letter R and the letter K or the letter C would be here with the justice card. Somebody bit somebody, somebody else's will to do something, but they're going to be bent because, uh, uh, you know, that's cruel to do that to somebody, and a cruel messenger is going to meet you just the same freaking way, what you did, freak. Uh, this is the head, the man, the boss, the chief of something. Is here. We literally have the name Rick out here. Something about somebody's car would be here in the phonics as well. Uh, and somebody cared and somebody else played. I guess that's showing up that way. Somebody's firstborn is here. Something happened when you were at the top of something and something happened. Somebody got freaking played here. What's showing? I really don't have to go that much further. Something about the house. I shuffled a couple different times and I kept seeing the Ten of Cups. Something's very much emotional. If you're getting justice for something here, um, then you're getting justice for something that went down with this energy. Let's take from this deck. What a shame that people do such stupid, nasty stuff. You know, it's a, it, it, this is the deal. And, you know, some people have raised their kids right and they just went down the wrong path. But, you know, some of this stuff happens because, you know, we've had words come out. Grown adults act like children because they weren't, they, they weren't raised correctly to be respectful. To, to people, okay? Somebody got a brain issue to come in and to come out and just to take something just because they wanted it. We also had words coming out um, stating, I don't, I, don't, I don't care what you want or I don't care about your feelings or whatever. And they just came in and did something in your home just because they had some connection to you and something went down within some fight and they just well I don't give a rip what you think I'm gonna take this because I want it kind of energy you know we deal with people that don't give a rip that Jehovah says vengeance is mine and that also came out in one of the readings as well somebody took vengeance in their own hands and they're gonna get bit now man they're they're there's a judgment here and there is it just was really all over the place we have military involvement FBI government officials judges lawyers police um, counsel out here there's been a bereavement or there will be a bereavement there's been a grievous loss of a death or a friend or a relative and you know if in this is this is secrets here with the eighth house this is death but somebody tried to hide that stuff block that stuff played somebody took the money and the inheritance on that stupidness on some type of a trip that went down then by God there will be justice for some ordeal that went went down with this energy that's coming out um 
this goes back to a stone. The stone is used in the sling to throw or kill uh, for a stoning type of energy. There's an execution type of energy. Well, if somebody literally stones somebody in a grievous type of way, um, then by God, let's let's see this person how how it's gonna feel to them on their judgment day. Okay, there has been some type of quarrel that was here, and uh, sparks and metal and striking. I mean, that's a grievous type of a loss here. Then throwing things and taking metal and beating the crap out of somebody. What a freak, man! What a freak. Uh, we have somebody who's just been pondering and murmuring in their speech while continually contemplating over something. And uh, obviously, if something went down, this is secret secret sex money property and stuff like that. Somebody, something came up from the past. That somebody got a wake-up call to something, and now somebody's murmuring or that happened. And somebody played somebody on purpose because of those secrets. Uh, it, it still, two wrongs don't make a freaking right, people. There's a lot of cups out here. There's a lot of money out here. The rainbow is out here. They take you back to gold-like energy. There's just a lot of assets and, and stuff like that showing up in this reading. Well, you'll set yourself down in jail now. We forgot you were you were perfect. That you've never done anything. Well, everybody gonna know what you did. Don't care where you sit, just because you are in the military or in the FBI or work for the police department or or I don't care where you work. Neither does Jehovah. Okay, you just don't do this to people. Um, the K and the L is here, which is the Justice card and the Hangman. This came out in two different ways today on a general that I did this morning. One of those cards I did, one of those reasons I did not upload. But I think I spoke about it on one of the readings that I did after that, which make the, um, the phonics of kill. Okay, well, some, something complete was here because somebody died. But something's over as well because there's a judgment here. There's going to be justice for something. Okay, so this is some type of uh, um, taming for a yoke because somebody's going to get bent now and go to jail for something. Somebody's feeling so ashamed and there's, some, there's something that's truthful within some type of a connection around some ordeal. There is some freedom out here. The word freedom also came out today in a different card. So, you know, somebody can get freed from some freak that's that's really done some nasty stuff just because they set up in a head ship and they just thought that they were, my God, I am in a big head ship. Look at me. If I want to play you by God, I set up in the law. I can do that. No, you can't. There's fraud issues around some stuff, and the child saw what happened in this situation. There were love connections here, and somebody is all somebody's cups. They're all their kings or all their queens and things like that. But some, something's happened around some kind of connection if it was safe for you to love. And if it wasn't, still vengeance is Jehovah's. And something about, yes, they love you, okay, is out here for somebody had some type of question about something. So if you, this is a returning card. Okay, something somebody from the past trying to return needs to return quickly, uh, and they're you just sitting here pondering something because something that's already went down. Yes, somebody loves somebody up here. Get your butt up, take the trip, go have a conversation uh, if you can. Okay, so Jehovah says that He's guiding the way and to follow carefully, and you will know in your moment what He instructs for you to do. And He says, "I'm with you always." And the king shall rejoice in Elohim. Everyone that swears by him shall glory. But the mouth of him that speaks lies shall be stopped today. Well, there's a judgment out here. It's somebody going to be bent. Unity and something positive is here for whatever's going down here. Okay, we've, we've been dealing with the spirit of Nimrod. We had energies coming out about the tower uh, on one of my readings today. I'm not sure if it was for the next couple of days, but we had something that I touched about the tower. The spirit of Nimrod, you know, he was a mighty hunter, and they built the tower of Babel, and, and Jehovah came down and visited them, and, and, and he, he just, you know, confounded their, their speech and stuff like that, and uh, we're, we're dealing with pride and ego situations and people that are freaks. If you're dealing with the reverend, then we're dealing with the reverend, okay? We got 
um, the occult out here as well. We got secret, stupid spirituality and stuff. It's just crazy. We do have a spy that's coming out here. Um, we have uh, a forewarning that there's been da there's danger around. Okay, well there's danger around to the freak. Okay, those of you have got to go in and take somebody down because we have military here involved. Okay, and you're having to take some type of freaking giant down, and you're going to take your stone like David did, and put that thing right between the eyeballs of that giant, and take that giant's uh, sword, and cut that giant's head off, because somebody's filled with legions and nastiness, Jehovah is with you, and Jehovah says right here, that he is leading this thing, okay, in your moment, you're going to know what to do, Jehovah's bringing an answer today, it says, and, um, the name of Jehovah Elohim is a strong tower. Yes, it's Jehovah that we run into. And they that run into him is safe. We also had something coming up for the next couple of days that somebody's um, technology and device was going to be returned and restored back to uh, its beginning stages. Okay, it was going to be restored. Also, I had something come out today that uh, Christ stated that whoever built a tower that, and did not sit down and consider that thing before doing it. Because something's gotten out of hand because of some freak. Okay? There is a death and a tomb energy out here. So let every word be established in two or three witnesses. If you're dealing with somebody who's high in the forehead or they're bald or something like that, then that's here. We are dealing with a Jezebel spirit. So some of you all are dealing with a wife issue that is trying to control her husband or some of y'all are dealing with somebody who is uh, in leadership but they're underneath a leadership and they're trying to control their head okay with that energy out here okay they're going to be bent because Jehovah is going to make sure that this dangerous person that's done some freakishness is going to be taken out okay uh, you're dealing with uh, sacrifices and stuff like that because that takes you back to Phoenician God wor uh, worship. We have something that's twisted and weaved and we had something dark and twisted come out and wording on two different element signs as well. If you're dealing with somebody who's a cleaner, the, the word can also uh, be talking about like a broom or something like that. We had something that came out in one of my readings today. One of the words that came out in the Hebrew was a, a um, uh, what was that word? A uh, a sweeping thought and it was connected to somebody just you know sweeping something away and just is like a oh, rubbish type of stuff so if you're dealing with somebody who uses the word rubbish then something is here with that because it's coming out in a totally different way and different card but the energy is still here um somebody says i want to rub your back and take your stress away and so some of you all do have a connection out here okay once this thing is completed and somebody's taken away then some of you all got some nice connections coming your way and somebody does care out here for some somebody okay and and you will have You'll hold a leading something in a very positive way for you. If you're dealing with somebody who has uh, been dealing with back issues or something like that, then that's here. This goes back to the DH and or the letter TH together. Okay, but that together is death. If you want to take the phonics, somebody's been in enchantment. We have somebody who's been in... Um, uh, you know, the occult and stuff like that, given what's been out here. Uh, this goes back to, um, like strategy and stuff and calculations and projects with this rune and uh, a risk of, uh, of something breaking, uh, within rules that were, that were within some situation. Somebody broke the rules, especially if they set up in a, a highfalutin place and they took advantage of that. And they just take whatever they take because, they, well, I'm the law. If I want to come up to your house, I know you have whatever or your business. I do whatever because, you know, I sit where I sit. Uh, then that kind of stupidness is here. Um, but anyway, that's the rune that came out for this reading. Until next time, shalom.